Manchester United sent fresh Ruben Amorim message as Sporting CP deal impact outlined. The latest Man United news and gossip as another verdict emerges from the Sporting Lisbon perspective about the prospect of Ruben Amorim taking the manager's job at Old Trafford. A former Sporting Lisbon coach has explained the impact Ruben Amorim's departure for Manchester United may have on the club. The Manchester Evening News understands that Amorim has already agreed to replace Eric Ten Hag as the next United manager. Ten Hag was sacked on Monday after the Dutchman spent two years in the Old Trafford dugout. Tuesday night saw Amorim take charge of sporting in the Taka de Liga clash against National on home soil. The 39-year-old was greeted with a standing ovation from the sporting fans in what could potentially be his final fixture as the club's manager before taking the job at United. Amorim has been sporting boss since 2020 and guided the club to the league title last season after also winning that crown in 2021 which was the club's first in nearly two decades. Carlos Pereira, who previously worked as an assistant coach at the Portuguese club before Amarim's tenure, has explained the impact the sporting manager's switch to Old Trafford would have for his former employers. It will be an irreparable loss, Pereira told Record when asked about the prospect of Amarim leaving Sporting CP. Not only because of the work he's been doing, but also because of the team's current situation. Money talks louder, and when that's the case, that becomes an unequal fight. Because Sporting will not have the financial capacity to overcome United's offer. It's legitimate that he can embrace a project of this size, Pereira added, referring to the United move. It's normal, as much as he likes being at Sporting, and Sporting likes to have him at the head of professional football. These are opportunities that sometimes only appear once. It was something which was already predicted, given the work that Ruben Amarim has developed. It was natural that, sooner or later, a proposal like this would appear. As Manchester United continues its search for a long-term managerial solution, fresh insights from Sporting CP indicate that Ruben Amarim remains a strong candidate for the Old Trafford role. Amarim, currently leading Sporting Lisbon, has garnered attention for his tactical acumen and ability to develop young talent, making him an attractive option for United's rebuilding efforts. Recent reports from Lisbon suggest that the club is bracing for potential interest from United, with key figures emphasizing the importance of Amarim's contributions to Sporting. Under his leadership, the team has seen a resurgence in form, securing a place in European competitions and playing an exciting brand of football. However, it's clear that his departure would create significant ripples in the Portuguese league. Sporting's board is reportedly preparing for a scenario where Amarim may be approached. They are exploring contingency plans to ensure a smooth transition should he leave. Insiders note that while Sporting is keen to retain him, they also understand the allure of managing a prestigious club like Manchester United. In addition, sources close to United highlight that Amorim's previous experience in the youth setup at Sporting aligns with the club's vision of nurturing young talent. His ability to integrate emerging players into the first team could be pivotal in reshaping United's squad, especially as the club looks to revitalize its identity. As the situation unfolds, fans of both clubs are eagerly watching. United supporters are hopeful that Amarim could bring a new philosophy and renewed passion to the club, while sporting fans are wary of losing their charismatic leader. With speculation mounting, the coming weeks could prove decisive for both Amarim's future and the trajectory of Manchester United. As Manchester United gears up to welcome Ruben Amarim as its new manager, the ramifications of his departure from Sporting Lisbon are becoming a hot topic among fans and pundits alike. The Manchester Evening News has reported that Amarim has already agreed to take over from Eric Ten Hag, who was dismissed after two tumultuous years in charge at Old Trafford. Former Sporting CP coach Jose Pacero shared his thoughts on the potential fallout from Amarim's exit. Ruben has been a transformative figure at Sporting, Pacero explained. 
His tactical vision and connection with the players have been instrumental in their recent successes. Losing him would leave a significant gap in the club. Amarim's tenure at Sporting has been marked by impressive achievements, including a league title and a reputation for promoting youth talent. Paseiro emphasized that his departure would not only impact the first team, but also affect the club's entire infrastructure. Ruud van Nistelrooy could give a first-team debut to Manchester United youngster versus Leicester. Man United play Leicester in the Carabao Cup on Wednesday, and here are five things to look for in the game. Manchester United will play their first game since Eric Ten Hag was sacked against Leicester City in the Carabao Cup on Wednesday night. Ten Hag was sacked on Monday following United's 2-1 defeat to West Ham in the Premier League, and Ruud van Nistelrooy has been officially placed in interim charge of the side. United are hoping to appoint Ruben Amarim from Sporting Lisbon, but van Nistelrooy will get the chance to manage his former club against Leicester at Old Trafford. Leicester are among the favourites to be relegated from the top flight this season, and United are heavy favourites to progress to the quarter-finals of the Carabao Cup. Van Nistelrooy was considered a shrewd addition to Ten Hag's backroom staff and has received praise from players who have relished working with a former United great. He is a safe pair of hands as an interim and should receive a brilliant reception at Old Trafford on Wednesday night, as fans have reveled in his return to the club since the summer. Rudd has been the cry from the Stretford end when Van Nistelrooy has applauded fans before heading down the Old Trafford tunnel after home games, and it hasn't gone unnoticed that he's made a habit of being the last person to applaud supporters after away fixtures. Van Nistelrooy is equally popular with United players and fans and is expected to pick a strong team to win against the Foxes in what could be his only game in interim charge of the club, with promising youngster Harry Amass excelled during the United States preseason tour and traveled with the squad to Wembley for the Community Shield. But he hasn't been given a debut this season, despite Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia continuing to be absent with their injuries. The feeling was, Ten Hag didn't believe Amass was physically ready and he was overlooked again when United won 7-0 against Barnsley in the previous round of the Carabao Cup. Toby Collier was selected to start at left back against Barnsley and that wouldn't have gone down well with Amass, who watched from home as a midfielder played in his position. However, perhaps Van Nistelrooy will give Amass the opportunity he's been desperate to receive. It seems Diogo Dalo would benefit from rest due to his poor performances in the last few weeks, which means a mass could start at left back, with Nusser Mazraoui on the opposite side. Manuel Ugarte thrived under a Morim during his time at Sporting Lisbon and should particularly benefit from his appointment, which now feels like a matter of when, not if. There was a bidding war over Ugarte last summer, and Paris Saint-Germain won the race for his signature. Ugarte swapped Paris for Manchester after just 12 months, and although he failed to hit the ground running after his transfer, the signs suggest that he's close to turning a corner. Ugarte was the standout performer in United's 1-1 draw with Fenerbahce in the Europa League and was unfortunate to lose his starting place against West Ham last weekend. The 23-year-old is expected to return to the starting lineup against Leicester, and the game could be a springboard to a regular starter place ahead of Amarim taking control. Leicester's visit to Old Trafford will be the first United game since Ten Hag was sacked, and it will be fascinating to see how the players respond to his departure on the pitch. Several players sent thank you messages to Ten Hag on social media when his sacking was confirmed, but there will be some in the dressing room who are relieved. United suddenly looking like a different team against Leicester would not be a good look for the players, as many would perceive that they downed tools for Ten Hag. United created enough chances in the opening 45 minutes against West Ham to win two football matches, never mind one, but the game was somehow goalless at halftime. Alejandro Garnacho struck the crossbar before failing to find the corner with another opportunity. Rasmus Hojlund's close-range shot was saved. Bruno Fernandez's free header was sent over the bar. Diogo Dalo missed the chance of the season, and Casemiro's header was saved. It was embarrassing that United didn't score before halftime. 
but Wednesday's clash against Leicester is a chance to right the wrongs of the weekend and deliver a ruthless display. In a significant turn of events, Manchester United and Sporting Lisbon have reached an agreement for the release of Ruben Amarim, confirming his transition to Old Trafford. Sporting announced that the settlement of the release clause, reported to be £1 million, will be finalised by United. With the ink barely dry on the agreement, Amorim is set to jet to Manchester to begin his new role as the club's manager. As the news broke, excitement and anticipation surged through the fan base. However, Amorim's arrival comes too late for the upcoming clash against Leicester City, meaning interim manager Arvan Troy will take charge for that match. It is expected that Amorim will oversee his first game in charge when United faces Chelsea in the crucial Premier League tie over the weekend. From the headquarters, the club released a statement welcoming Amorim, who carries the weight of high expectations on his shoulders. Just as fans had celebrated the arrival of Eric Ten Hag, they now look to Amorim to navigate the club through a challenging period. His reputation for nurturing talent and implementing attacking football has sparked hope that he can revive the team's fortunes. United supporters are eager to see how Amarim will shape the squad, especially given the potential of players who have yet to shine this season. The atmosphere around the club is one of cautious optimism. Fans hope that with his leadership, the team can climb the league table and restore pride to a club with a rich history. As the weekend approaches, all eyes will be on Amarim as he prepares to take the helm. The journey ahead is daunting, but the potential for a fresh start under his guidance has ignited a renewed sense of belief among the United faithful, confirming his transition to Old Trafford. The Portuguese club announced that the settlement of the £1 million release clause will be finalised shortly, marking the end of an era for Amorim in Lisbon. With the ink barely dry on the agreement, he is set to jet to Manchester to begin his new role as the club's manager. As news of the agreement broke, excitement rippled through the fan base, mingling with a sense of hope for the future. However, Amarim's arrival comes too late for the upcoming clash against Leicester City, meaning interim manager R. Van Troy will take charge for that match. Van Troy, having stepped in during a turbulent period, has his own challenges to face as the squad grapples with the pressures of the season. Fans are eagerly anticipating Amarim's first match in charge, expected to be against Chelsea in a crucial Premier League tie over the weekend. The importance of this match cannot be overstated. It will set the tone for Amarim's tenure and provide an early glimpse into his tactical vision and style of play. From the club's headquarters, a statement was released welcoming Amarim, who arrives amid high expectations. Just as supporters had celebrated Eric Ten Hag's arrival with optimism, they now look to Amarim to navigate the team through this challenging period. His reputation for nurturing young talent and implementing an attacking style of football has sparked hope that he can revive the team's fortunes and restore the club to its former glory. The atmosphere surrounding the club is one of cautious optimism. Fans are eager to see how Amorim will shape the squad, particularly as several players have yet to fully realize their potential this season. The likes of Anthony Alanga, Scott McTominay and Jaden Sancho are all looking for a resurgence, and Amorim's approach may provide the spark they need to flourish. Amorim's success at sporting was built on a foundation of trust, unity and a strong tactical framework. His ability to connect with players and foster a positive environment will be crucial as he takes on the challenge of managing a club with such a storied history. The pressure is immense, but the potential rewards are equally significant. Fans remember the glory days and long for a return to the top of the Premier League. In the lead-up to his first game, speculation swirls around Amarim's tactics and lineup choices. Will he prioritize an attacking formation that emphasizes flair and creativity? Or will he focus on solidifying the defense first, ensuring that the team becomes difficult to break down? The anticipation is palpable, with supporters discussing possible strategies and player selections in pubs and online forums. As the weekend approaches, all eyes will be on Amarim as he prepares to take the helm. 
The journey ahead is daunting, with a series of crucial matches lying in wait. But the prospect of a fresh start under his guidance has ignited a renewed sense of belief among the United Faithful. They hope that Amarim's tenure will mark the beginning of a new chapter, one filled with promise and potential as the team seeks to reclaim its status among the elite in English football. Luke Shaw suffers new setback and injury comeback for Manchester United. Manchester United have not had a left back for the best part of a year, and Luke Shaw has not played for the club since February 18th. Manchester United defender Luke Shaw has suffered another setback in his recovery from a calf injury. Shaw has not played for United in 254 days, yet managed to appear for England three times during the European Championship, starting in the semi-final and final. The 29-year-old sustained a calf strain in his first week back for pre-season training at United, having missed the final three months of last season with a torn hamstring. Eric Ten Hag conducted a pre-match press conference for the League Cup tie against Leicester after his final match in charge in the defeat to West Ham and was asked about Shaw's recovery. The process is not going as we expected, Ten Hag said. That's the truth. The setback, if you want to call it like this, we want also to do it very careful. When he is now dropping again, we want to be very careful. We know his past. We have to do this right because we want him to be available, because he will have a big impact on our performances and also on our levels. We can't have him playing for some games and then drop out again. So, we will do it very carefully. Ten Hag did not expect any players to recover from injury to face Leicester at Old Trafford. Rude Van Nistelrooy will take caretaker charge of United for the first time. In a frustrating turn of events for Manchester United, Luke Shaw has suffered a new setback in his recovery from injury, leaving fans and teammates concerned about his availability for the upcoming fixtures. Shaw, who had been working tirelessly to return to full fitness, faced an unexpected complication during his rehabilitation, which has now delayed his anticipated comeback. The left back had been a key player for United, known for his defensive prowess and ability to contribute to the attack. His absence has been felt keenly, especially during a challenging season where the team has struggled for consistency. Manager Ruben Amorim, who recently took the reins at Old Trafford, had hoped to integrate Shaw back into the squad as they sought to improve their position in the Premier League. Shaw's setback, not only puts additional pressure on the coaching staff, but also raises questions about squad depth. With the busy fixture schedule ahead, Amorim will need to rely on alternatives, potentially shifting players like Tyrell Malaysia into the starting lineup more frequently. This situation could also provide opportunities for younger players in the academy to step up and prove their worth in the first team. As the medical team works diligently to assess the extent of Shaw's injury, there is a palpable sense of urgency around the club. The hope is that with proper care and rehabilitation, Shaw will return stronger than ever. Meanwhile, fans remain hopeful that their squad can rally in his absence and continue to push for a resurgence in the league. With every match becoming increasingly crucial, the challenges mount for Manchester United. The team's ability to adapt and overcome these setbacks will be key as they strive for success under Amarim's leadership. Shaw's journey back to fitness will be closely watched as his return could be pivotal in the club's pursuit of glory. As the medical team works diligently to assess the extent of Shaw's injury, a palpable sense of urgency envelops the club. The coaching staff is under pressure to adapt their strategies in his absence, while players are reminded of the importance of stepping up. Each training session becomes a crucial opportunity for the squad to gel and build chemistry, especially with the fixtures coming thick and fast. In the stands, fans continue to rally behind the team, displaying unwavering support despite the setbacks. They gather outside Old Trafford, chanting and waving banners, their spirits lifted by the hope that their beloved club can still mount a challenge in the league. The atmosphere during matches remains electric, as supporters believe that resilience and determination can propel the team forward. 
Ruben Amarim emphasizes the importance of unity and hard work during this challenging period. He knows that while Shaw's presence will be missed, the squad possesses the depth and talent to fill the void. New strategies are being developed, encouraging players to adapt their roles and responsibilities on the pitch. As news of Shaw's progress filters through, fans cling to the optimism that with proper care and rehabilitation, he will return stronger than ever. His experience and quality are invaluable, and the hope is that he can play a pivotal role in the team's resurgence once he's back. In the meantime, the squad must rally together, using this setback as a catalyst for growth. Every match becomes an opportunity to showcase their potential and commitment.